Doremi is happy because she has three fishes. But Doremon is happier because he has four fishes and three is lesser than four. Now Doremi has two more fishes and Doremon ate one fish. So Doremi has five fishes and Doremon has three fishes and five is greater than three. So now Doremi is happier. Now Doremi ate one fish and Doremon got one fish. Now they both have equal fishes. Now they both are happy. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine.
concept of perimeter. Perimeter means the total length of the boundary of a closed figure. Now, two figures are shown here. Figure 1 has total 8 sides which we add to find out the perimeter. Here, one side is 8 cm, two sides are 5 cm, four sides are 2 cm and the one side is 4 cm. By adding the length of all sides, we get the perimeter which is 30 cm. Now, we can check it with the help of this thread. Let's put one side of the thread at 1 and we can see that the other side is at 30. That means the total length of the boundary of figure 1 is 30 cm. Similarly, we can find and check the perimeter of the second figure. Now, let's see how to find the perimeter of triangle, rectangle and square. A triangle has three sides. To find the perimeter of a triangle, we have to add all three sides. Now, the length of the sides of this triangle is 5 cm, 6 cm and 8 cm. So, the perimeter is 19 cm. Now, we will measure it with the help of this scale. As you can see, it is 19 cm. In a rectangle, two opposite sides are equal. The longer sides are called length and the shorter sides are called breadth. Perimeter of a rectangle is 2 into length plus 2 into breadth. A square has 4 equal sides. So, the perimeter of a square is 4 into side.